few of you have asked me to go over my process, what I do to set up my hydroponic tank. First, I want to grow out my ceilings, my lettuce ceilings, till they're about an inch high. And I do this just with a regular um, seed mix. And generally it takes a few weeks, two to three weeks, to grow them out to this point. Afterwards, I take them out of the, take them out of the soil and I wash off the roots. And then I put them in what's called rock wool. Um, you generally buy it in a 96 count um, container and you can buy it anywhere on online or eBay. Anyway, um, from that point I'll just take one of the cubes and the first thing I do is I open it up. Just open it up in half and then I just dip it in water and as quick as you dip it in water it soaks up, soaks up the water. After that time I'll take the lettuce seedling out and right now basically what I'm doing is I'm washing off the dirt so I'm only left with the little lettuce seedling and the and the and the root of the lettuce seedling and I'll take my rock wool and with the two halves that I've separated I just put it inside and, and put both halves together sometimes there's roots hanging out the bottom sometimes not but that's okay after which I put them in in this case it's a two inch two inch net cup once the seedlings are in the net cups it's time to set up your tank and as I talked about it before how my tank set up is I use a two by four frame which is two inches or excuse me which is two feet by four feet and then I just nail a piece of wafer board on the bottom at that point, let me just move the camera over here so you can see at that point I just get regular black plastic and I've used two sheets of black plastic and I line the inside of inside of the tank. My tank, the tank that I've I've designed holds 13 gallons of water. And the fertilizer that I use, see if you can see it, it's from a company called Kelp for Less. It's a 41838 fertilizer, which seems to work well for lettuce. On this second attempt, I actually added a couple of scoops of miracle Grow just to, just to increase the nitrogen. But as you can see from this second, this second um, experiment, everything's done really well in the three weeks, other than just one plant in the back, and I'll try to, I'll try to grab that. So, I, I don't know why this plant would have been any different than the plant next to it, but it's only about half the size. But um, So it just may take another week or so longer. But at that point, you just stick in your net cups. So let me just remove this one. And you stick in your net, net cups like, like so. And really, it's just, it's just a waiting, waiting game at that point. Um, you fill up the water level just so it touches the last quarter inch of the net cup. And if I can lift this up, you can see how that net cup just sticks underneath the styrofoam. So once I place it, place the styrofoam onto my frame, I want the water to be just within the quarter of an inch from the bottom, just so it's soaking in a quarter of an inch of the, of the water with the fertilizer mix in. And I don't think I told you, but with this particular fertilizer, I use one teaspoon per gallon of water. Anyway, so as you can see, um, the, the lettuce that I'm holding right now is, is about two and a half weeks old. Um, and, it, and, and they're doing really well. Um, all, of, all of them have nice root growth. Anyway, if anybody has any questions, just drop me a line and I'll try to answer any questions that you may have. As far as the lighting that I have, I just have it on just a simple, you know, a couple of shop lights with two 40 watt T12 bulbs and it, it provides adequate light. Generally when you're starting seeds and you're trying to get plants to grow, you want your light to be as close to your plants as possible. In this case, I wanted, to, I wanted to experiment the second time and see if I could lift up my lights and try to starve my plants 
for light to see if they would grow a little faster and it seems like it's worked with most of them other than the one that I just showed you. Anyway, thanks for watching.